Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard the tale of the biggest robbery Los Santos has ever seen? Well, if you are a veteran of GTA, you must have. It's a story of peril, hardship, struggle, and mystique. Wait, you haven't heard the story? Well, in that case, it's time for a little adventure. But before we do so, I must ask you to find the oldest, most prized family possession that you can find in your house. Grab it firmly and just obliterate the like and or subscribe button with it. Oh, and be sure to let the people know what it was you just smashed into said buttons in the comments down below. It all started on a cold January morning in 1934. The city was waking up, but for two men, sleep never came that night. They've been playing planning and coming up with a grand scheme. They plan to hit every single store in Los Santos in the biggest heist the world has ever seen, all in one go. Can't even use a chair. Doesn't even know how to use a chair. And now he's pulling out the strap. What are you gonna do with that? Fucking clap you, man. And Slugsy Malone. After a long time of jabber jabber, they decided on the perfect route. Head from north to west, a little south, hit the store right here, go back east to confuse the cops, circle around the south, and well, it would be perfect. But in order to confuse the cops, they needed to come up with the perfect getaway vehicle, and only one came to mind a green, sprunk branded scooter. It would be perfect. Lastly, they decided it would be best to hit every store in the tiny window of time. If they never lose their wanted level, the cops would surely get confused and tired out in this race of attrition. But before we show a faithful reconstruction of what happened on that night... Hmm, so about that robbery, eh? Here's what happened. Well, actually, there are conflicting stories. Some tell the tale of how they never made it past the fourth store. Others tell a story of how they got mauled by a police car. Some say only one of them made it and the other one got shot down. I've heard stories that they got their scooters stuck on a roof. You don't even ask how that came to be. There are stories how they got absolutely destroyed and blown in a thousand pieces. A story that they crashed into a light pole and got shot up. That they perished inside one of the stores. That they perished outside one of the stores. That one of them tried to leave the other behind and died. And there are multiple records of them getting caught right after leaving DNA traces in the store because they thought this would be the perfect time to go for a mm, quick sprung stop. Man, there are so many different stories that it nearly sounds like they tried it about a million times. But the story that I like to believe goes as following. Two criminals entered a store on a cold January morning in 1934. Give me all you got, they yelled as they frantically started shooting up the entire store to make the store clerk hurry up. An interesting thing to note, they were very selective with the shooting, only aiming for the E. coli and off-brand bottles. The Sprunk remained in pristine, sellable and consumable condition. After collecting their first paycheck, the full LSPD was on high alert, responding to a robbery in progress, but they were already on the way out. Onwards to the next shop, they made damn sure to be sighted in between, just enough so the police force wouldn't know what is happening and where they are going and so they arrived at the next door. They hit it swiftly but in the process they were forced to take out two police officers and thus the wanted level was raised to three stars. This is when the helicopters came in, but in the midst of all the chaos, they managed to hit the second store. And so they were off to hit the third one. After a small drive past the tip of their master plan, they reached store number three and without barely any resistance managed to hit that too. The police were confused beyond belief at this point. They used the alleys of the Vespucci canals to try and shake the police, but another criminal spotted the crime wave and decided to follow them. Oh god, there's a car behind us. This was not a time, but something interesting happened on that fateful day. <laughs> it looked like he was just curious what all the commotion was about. But it was time to hit another shop. A full-blown four-star wanted level. The entire police force was now homing in. A police operation on a scale so massive, it dwarfs anything the United States of America has ever seen. All to stop two men on a scooter trying to get some pocket change. They hit the fourth store and something unexpected happened. Well, at least there were conflicting stories once again. Some people said that one of the crooks held up the store by gunpoint while the other went for a quick refreshment. 
but both accounts say that they made a grand exit through the car wash, dodging all the incoming police swiftly. But after this, things got really tough. They came up with a plan, what if they break line of sight with the police just for a little while, make them spread out before hitting the next door. And so it was said. So it was done. Uh, you've brought us somewhere fucking stupid here. The police started spreading out into the search area, thinking that the crime wave was over and the dastardly thieves made their grand escape. But the crime wave wasn't over. They hit the fifth store with merely three more to go. Things really started heating up. The FIB got involved and now the full force of LSPD is on the streets trying to take them out. It became progressively harder and harder to move on from store to store with three police helicopters following them. The FIB on that trail, it wasn't looking great at all for our two crooks. The police went to great lengths to take them out, but in the middle of all the chaos, they managed not only to arrive at store number six, they also managed to rob the contents blind, but it was at this time they were nearing the end. Two more stores to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking all of the shots here. They were burning through the funds as fast as they gained them to obtain ammo though, which is an integral part of our story. And on top of that, the police seemed to have caught up to their plan. There were now roadblocks to the next door. The LSPD were dead set on stopping this heinous crime wave. But unfortunately for the cops, this was nothing that a small detour couldn't solve. And so they arrived at the second to last store. But the cops were now showing up in numbers that were beyond comprehension. They have seemed to call in the police from all states to stop what was happening. And our two crooks, they managed to rob the second to last stop. There was hope in their hearts. Can they do it? Surely, if they managed to do this, they would go down in the history as the best crooks to have ever walked the streets of Los Santos. As they wanted to make their escape, tragedy struck. One of the crooks got shot down in cold blood, and the other one, he had to make his escape, never to be seen ever again. Legend tells that he got out and lost the cops, others say that he got caught and killed two blocks away, but I guess one way or another that is the reason why you've never heard of the greatest heist Los Santos has ever seen, cause they never managed to complete it. All the money they gained was in the pockets of the partner that got shot in the doorway. They were so close to becoming the greatest criminals of Los Santos, yet, so far. There's a lot of hearsay, there's a lot of tales, but there's one fact. The exact scooter they used to attempt the robbery is still at the police impound to this very day. A couple of years ago, an old man tried to collect it, but he seemed to have insufficient funds. And I like to believe that this man was indeed our surviving criminal who blew every single cent of his money on ammo, snacks and everything that he needed to keep the heist going. And to this day, the green sprung branded Faggio is still at the impound. And now it's time to thank the glorious members of this channel. Oh, thank you all, thank you. Oh, thank you, you glorious human beings. Mwah, thank you, thank you. Now, if you wish to get to see videos early and you wish to see your name on the list like this, be sure to smash that like button and smash the join button and smash whatever the hell you so well please. Okay, thank you, goodbye.